Hello players, this is why you should stop using Molex adapters. Molex power connection has been around for a while and ever since its inception since 1963 it has been used in most PC builds up until the early 2000s where serial ATA came along and stole all the glory. Molex is still used to power things like motherboards and some case fans for some reason but optical drives and hard drives made the switch to SATA a long time ago. Modern power supplies are being shipped with more and more set of connections, which is handy if you want to build something like a home server, or have a stack of SSDs inside a case, or burn 25 Blu-rays at once. Having said that, we never seem to have enough SATA power connections, especially with new fans and water cooling solutions using SATA power as well. We always seem to run out a lot sooner than we'd like, but we do have a bunch of Molex connections left over. Which is why a lot of people go out and buy one of these. This is a Molex to SATA power adapter. Don't have a physical one to show you because I threw all mine away, but basically these are ticking time bombs. Molex has a lot of drawbacks. It's held in place by friction, which means it's often difficult to remove. This can also lead to the pins actually coming loose and falling out. The female sockets on the connector end can actually spread, spread so much that they cause arcing across the, the pin lanes, which can produce heat. So much heat, in fact, that it can actually melt the plastic housing. Although with that said, SATA was designed to be backwards compatible with Molex through use of one of these adapters. The biggest issue with these is that when they fail, they fail bad because it's not just the adapter that dies, they often take out anything that's plugged into it, like that shiny new 8TB Western Digital Red. So let's do some science. Molex has four pins, two for power, 12 volt and 5 volt, and two for ground, where SATA has 15, three for 12 volt, three for 5 volt, three for 3.5 volt, although that's hardly used, and six for ground. And all of these power lanes have very tight tolerances. So the adapter has to split its 12 volt and 5 volt lanes into three separate lanes each in a very tight space. This increases the risk of arcing, that thing that can melt the plastic housing. And when that happens, it happens on the SATA end most of the time, destroying whatever it's connected to. Not only that, the splitting creates a lot more heat, and there have been multiple occasions where these little adapters have caused fires inside PC cases. Well, that sucks. Do I have to go out and buy a new power supply to power all my stuff? Luckily, no. There are several companies that make SATA splitters like this one. This is a one port or four port from Silverstone. This is the one that I use in my own personal home server. This particular one has extra capacitors in the connection end, which means if there is a problem or a power surge or something fries, the cable dies and not your hardware. Link for this one is in the video description below, but a quick search will find you others by other brands if you prefer those. And if you're really stuck for SATA power connections, use the adapter, if you have to, on something like a fan, where if it fails, it's really not going to cause that much damage, unlike if it was plugged into a hard drive where you could potentially lose all of your data. Well, I hope we all learned a little something today. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, hit the like button, get subscribed, if you've had any horror stories with Molex to SATA adapters, let the people know in the comments below. And until next time, keep playing. This video was sponsored by BuzzVape. Get your vaping buzz at buzzvape.co.uk and get 10% off your first order with the offer code STRINGER.